Hello and welcome to Rick's Magnetic Motor Generator Project. Now perhaps you can hear there's an audible beeping sound. I currently have the level set so that you can hear the beeps. And this only occurs when you're within about one-tenth of a degree of being accurate. One-tenth to zero. And uh, I'm going to show you that even as I rotate the wheel uh, so that the level is at the side position, the wheel is still level. You should still be able to hear the beep. Okay, with that done, I'm going to move the camera in a little bit closer and get a different view from above so I can demonstrate better to you the uh, actual layout of the magnets that I'm using. Now, as you can see, I've labeled this as my start position. And the first magnet I've put a little piece of uh, tape on there and uh, put the letter N on the tape. Just a little bit of masking tape, that's all. And this is just to show that the orientation of this group of magnets is with the north side facing up. Now you can see that in this group there are ten magnets. Each one of these magnets is spaced uh, about five-eighths of an inch apart. The dimensions of these neo-magnets are three-eighths wide, three-quarter inch long, and one-eighth inch in thickness. I have these bar magnets stacked. They're actually the two magnets stacked together at each position. The reason I chose the 5 8 inch spacing between the magnets is because I performed a few experiments and uh, anything from half inch to a 5 8 inch spacing seemed to work quite well. So I, I went around the wheel and made marks all the way around. Perhaps I can zoom in on that rim a little more. Show you, see the marks that I've made. And I did that so that I can easily place my magnets, just slide them and so they align with the marks. You can see a little bit of the mark shows to the left of each magnet. So this makes it quite easy to, to do magnet placements. I, I can arrange five together in a group, or six, seven, eight, nine, or ten like I have right now. So I'm doing it this way and let me back out again just a little bit. There now you can see the entire group and you can see that there's a fairly wide space uh, be between my magnet groups. And here's the next group that comes along also north oriented. Quite a wide space there. Alright, now I'm going to show you how I can place a stator magnet 
above these magnets in the group and cause the wheel to rotate. I'll be using a neodymium hard drive, computer hard drive magnet to cause the uh, magnetic interactions. And here you go, here it is, neodymium hard drive magnet. Okay. This is a very powerful magnet, by the way, and it has a C shape with the magnetic poles located at opposite ends. Now, watch what happens when I place the hard drive magnet over the magnet group on the wheel. I'm going to lower this into position and the wheel starts to rotate. Okay, well, let's do that again. This time, let me hold the magnet a little closer. You can see that the rotation was uh, quicker that time. It was more forceful. So there is a distinct placement where the uh, magnet has the most effect. I just wanted to show that to you because uh, I know there are a lot of doubters out there who feel that uh, Milo's setup couldn't possibly work, that it's just a hoax. But uh, as you can see, Placing the stator magnet above causes these magnets to rotate. Now there is a problem I'd like to point out to you. There is a problem that can be encountered uh, in between the two groups. It's easy enough to get one group to start. watch. When I come around to the second group, the wheel suddenly stops with quite a force. It's like slamming the brakes on. Now with Milo's setup, uh, he doesn't run into that problem because he's using weaker magnets. You, you can see how slowly his rotation starts out starts off very slowly and gradually builds up speed. That's because he has placed his stator magnet high enough. It's just at the critical height where it's, uh, it's just barely interacting with the magnets on the rotor. If he were to lower his stator magnets, he's actually using two magnets for the stator, if he were to lower those magnets somewhat to get a stronger reaction, he'd get a faster rotation effect. However, he'd run into the same braking effect as the uh, next group approaches. 